salutations. Thank you for uh, sending forth this revelation of Putin as the fulfillment manifestation manifestation of Daniel 11, the king of the north, who is invading the king of the south. This will lead to World War III, according to the Bible, according to what I am reading. And it will come to pass, all things pass, it will come to pass that this world will be in deep doo-doo. <laughs> really, I shouldn't laugh in really, really deep, deep doo-doo. And all those not sharing these messages of mine are just hypocritical, religious, unloving people who don't give a damn. Hope I'm not speaking to you. I hope not. Because we can all uh, turn around. I know I did. Thank God for that. So, uh, it will come to pass that the Russian people of truth will all see the Lord's glory of the kingdom of peace all over my messages. I am the new Tokyo of Rose, sent from the Rose of Sharon, uh, as for the revelation of all things, to restore all truth. And uh, so they will come to see the truth of the messenger of the Kingdom Age Covenant. That is the only thing that will save us, is the people of Russia losing total, total faith within this man. Uh, they're Fearlessly. Um, and the Lord's word and prophecy shall evermore be published unto the people of Russia, translated if even needed over the last couple of years. We need some translators translating these uh, videos. You have uh, There is no copyright. It's translate away, take all the words that uh, I'm speaking. And please rebroadcast this in Russian languages. This is an urgent cry unto the United Nations. <laughs> and so praise God that uh, it will come to pass that as Christ's word of peace once again says, peace be still, uh, the Lord would have you to realize that the Lord says that uh, all these things, cutting time short, can only happen if people will share his everlasting gospel truth of Revelation 14, of which I am the writer. And it has to go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations under the globe. Uh, for this vision of Habakkuk 2 was always of the foretold messenger of Windsor's North, exactly as Isaiah 41 uh, foretold the messenger unto Israel and to all mankind. Uh, that they have inherited uh, all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, and they are now named Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2. Uh, so know that the just shall live by my faith and shall share these messages or prove themselves to be a loveless religious hypocrite. Um, and as, as I embrace all loving people of the world, all people of the world, all people of the world unto myself, exactly as Habakkuk, Jewish Bible says in King James because it's for pointing them to the good shepherd who arises over all the flock of man. So all this is exactly as it was foretold in the book of uh, Habakkuk. Prophecy all over the globe is exploding. Now China has postured themselves. They're surrounding islands in the uh, Pacific. Brand new axis of evil. And uh, they'll end up coming involved in this thing with two, two, uh, I don't know why I say it. it, scares me to think about it. But know that the just shall live by my faith as I do embrace all people of the world, exactly uh, as it is written, because I am already as greedy as hell's hottest flames, and I can never be satisfied as I embrace everyone towards that good shepherd over all men because he is, his name is love. The name of Jesus, the name of uh, Vladimir Putin's false god is pulled down. Instead, the name of love is wasted. That is Christ's name written by an apostle, uh, John, in, within 40, 50 years of his coming and going. I'm not talking about how he came and went either. It's not important. But uh, the name of Jesus didn't come forth till the 17th century, and it was not written by any holy person that anybody that I know of. It was a translator of a translation. 
uh, it was Yeshua and Yahweh became Joseph, uh, Jehovah and uh, Jesus, 17th century. So it, it's a distortional uh, false name of our beloved love of the ages, our Lord of love. Love is his name. All those who love are born again and know him because God is love. So it's time to embrace that which Christ uh, spoke himself in John 17 and John 10 for the unity of all mankind. And for this I do passionately call out to everyone all over earth circle from the driest spiritual wilderness of love's coldest ignorance uh, to wake everyone up to the truth. Uh, I've been preaching in the face of uh, white noise for months. and But I have the only message of cutting time short that will save the earth. And, Dan, and the Daniel of the lion's den also stressed that it would come to pass in verse 22 that all opposing over uh, his overwhelming uh, arms would be totally uh, ran over and overwhelmed by that Russian king of the north and their military power would be broken by his secret weapons as he spits towards the vision of the Lord's latter-day messenger of Jeremiah's kingdom age covenant of peace and love for everyone. And for, verse 23, and from the alliance within the false church of, of his uh, uh, faith, he will go and work deceitfully because see, he thinks his Jesus is going to forgive him for all his shit. Ain't going to happen. The true Jesus will not forgive anyone of the unforgivable sin which he is doing. Totally loveless is he becoming. And there's a, a line where there will be no salvation left for him. And uh, so uh, it's time that uh, he's revealing himself instead of a lamb, but as a ravenous wolf of Moscow. And that Vlad and Paler wannabe, uh, he will be renamed as the monster of uh, Moscow. And uh, that newest Vlad will go up before most death comes to pass. And at first he will overpower with much fewer multitudes. Uh, Piddly 150, 200,000 troops are nothing compared to what he will yet amass. And preceding all of his uh, revealed treachery at first, um, before that happens, he will first come in peace to the richest places of Russia. But he will do what his fathers and his father's fathers did not do because they had a true Lord God of love. They had the true Jesus, the loving God of love, the loving Jesus. That is not his God. His God is Satan, and he calls Satan Jesus. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, and uh, the truest Lord is love. That is his name. Aurora, by any other name, smells as sweet. And the Lord does not mind being called love instead of Jesus. He prefers that because that is his truest character. And so that king of the north uh, uh, came to pass. He has already secretly sold his very own soul. Uh, and for that cause, as, as things heat up all over the globe to ballistic levels, that king of the north shall sp spit spiritually and physically because uh, it will cause multitudes to be plundered of their hope. And, and he'll steal all the riches of uh, the world that he can get his hands on. And for a brief time, he will actually give back unto them for a brief time as he devises his most evil plans until the time of the day of the Lord of flame comes forth with utter terror and horror that can never be revoked or ever imagined. And right before the very end comes forth, that crazed Russian king of the north will dominate the king of the south with a great army, and the Ukraine will unsuccessfully stir up a war with a great and exceedingly strong army. And they will falsely think that their plans against that Russian bear could possibly work. And those who eat, uh, eat Vlad's bloody food within his satanic rituals will break him. Uh, as a result of his most foolish pride and unloving heart, his army will finally be overwhelmed, exactly as the prophet Zechariah has, has revealed. And as that Russian bear waves his phony scepter, he only will plan to do evil as he speaks his sneakiest of lies, his propaganda. 
uh, but they shall not rescue him at his untruths, at his bloody end, at the appointed time of such horror that even Stephen King could only fart, gag, and die over uh, beholding such insanity in the face of such fiery living stench of flame that is called Vladimir Putin, the newest Vlad the Impaler, uh, who will now receive God's greatest judgment of wrath that has ever been proclaimed. For the Lord God says, Vladimir, if you will not listen to Elijah, I will take the shit from your feasts, your most precious banquets, and I will rub that diarrhea right into your mouth and right up your nose, says the Lord God. Uh, because your perceived false Jesus, he's sitting on the toilet taking a crap, says Elijah, and he ain't going to help you. You are falling into the hands of a living God who is love, and my God will not forgive your lovelessness, says Elijah, says Daniel, says Shiloh, says Joshua, says the Mahdi, says the Maitreya of Buddhism. I, it's all the same guy. Water, steam, and ice. Isa, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, it's all the same guy. And that foolish, incorrigible Russian king of the north will at first return unto uh, Moscow uh, with great possessions, and his heart shall ponder the holy covenant uh, that he never understood uh, that I have given a thousand times, because he will hear of it. And after finally hearing about uh, the Lord's holy ones of peace uh, and what this covenant is doing unto them, that Russian king, that bear, will succeed in dismissing the news of the covenant in his heart because he's committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. There will be no hope for that man. And because by then he will have committed that sin and there is no rescue because that's spiritual suicide. If you let God's love go out, light in you, that's letting God in you go out because he is love and those who love are born of him and born again. And after the smoke clears, after his first victory, he will return and come unto the south Ukraine again. But it will not be like the first, nor like the last time. For he shall be surprised by a great multitude, and his small force will be crushed. He will have a defeat. And he will then return to Moscow and be angry at the turn of public uh, opinion against him due to the publication of God's word showing proving to the world that he is the bloodthirsty killer of Russia, as foretold in Daniel 11. And uh, so all the World War III prophecy belongs to him alone. And once, if he comes to realize this truth, that can cut time short when he sees the frivolity uh, of his ways, the, that the resistance is futile to an all-knowing God who's showing him his future, showing him that he'll never be able to cash in his retirement savings. He'll have no need of them because he'll be like shit on the bottom of Satan's shoe, <laughs> even though Satan's been removed in accordance with Daniel 12.1. But uh, it's time that uh, he needs to hear about his awful, excruciating, everlasting death, cast out into the outer darkness with wailing and gnashing of teeth, which is awaiting him. And But up until the very end, he will continue to dismiss true facts that seem only but foolishness unto him. And so it will come to pass that the Russian king of the north will return to his Kremlin to think about all the millions of apostates, people in former spiritual darkness because this world has been covered totally all mankind by that gross darkness of understanding as Isaiah 60 and 61 pre preached all over the globe because they have all all people have rejected and abandoned the holy covenant of Malachi 3 1 that alone prepares the truest way for our truest Lord of love and by then he will by that point uh, Putin would already have committed the unforgivable sin of hardening his heart as Christ's love of light totally banishes from that man. And arms from his second foretold military antichrist will stand. And he is not the lawless one of the Bible, the antichrist, there's confusion here, but he is a second antichrist, the one that brings uh, the king of the north, that brings World War III. The lawless one does not do that. 
Uh, and uh, so there's people are wixing their murders and confusing the two antichrists because there are two antichrists and there is a third antichrist who is the false uh, prophet who calls down fire in front of multitudes with Revelation 13 who can be seen doing that at his YouTube channel repent and prepare the way by the false prophet Dr. David O.R. O.W.U.O.R. who claims to be the two witnesses uh, it's ludicrous. Uh, and proof of that, he shows fuzzy pictures of himself out of focus. Yep, I'm Dublin. I'm the two guys, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not, I'm not one of the two witnesses. Thank God, because they're going to bring death. Um, and so know that arms from his second foretold uh, military will stand. And he will have, the king of the north will have his men to profane Israel's sanctuary in a, a, a soon coming time to come right before Armageddon happens as a prelude to everyone their their death in the valley of Megiddo, the stronghold. And they shall then remove the reinstituted daily sacrifice of the Jews and the place of the abomination of curses therein. And those who deal wickedly against the kingdom age covenant of God from Jeremiah 31 uh, that king of the north will try flattering with smooth speech, you, you see, because he's going to be losing favor, so he's going to be trying to kiss some ass, some Russian ass that are already pissed off at him. The women won't give him the time of the day because there's going to be so few of their men coming back from, from war uh, <laughs> that the southern men will have to grab a hold of, uh, uh, southern women will have to grab a hold of one guy, uh, just as Isaiah 4 uh, predicts and for many guys they're gonna say hallelujah <laughs> oh geez, I couldn't hope that one <laughs> I'm a guy too you know so what the heck but one thing for sure all those knowing that it is of God's will will, will perform puppets unto him and shine false faces at him as his popularity goes down to zero um, and the wise of the devastated Russians will let the rest of Earth's dying see that they can't help stumbling by Vlad's impaling sword of the lies from the tongue of his mouth. And with flames from his bombs falling up amidst Europe, and they shall fall, many shall fall by great captivity and by plunder. And when the dying Russians fall, uh, it'll come to pass that they'll be helped with very little help. Uh, but many towards the end shall yet join them because of their love's most perfect smooth speech. And that loveless king of the north, born as Vladimir V. Putin, will do as he wishes, and he will exalt himself and magnify himself over every powerful one of Europe and the earth. And about the false god of the mighty, the false Jesus, he will speak wondrous things. He will succeed in his hypocrisy until all of Russia's most intense fury has been spent. When uh, right before the blaze of Armageddon, that uh, that guy, Vlad, the vain new impaler, will finally be finished uh, before he is executed by his own stupidity. And within his embraced ignorance, he will not contemplate the true God of his fathers and of his father's fathers. And uh, that rabid Kodiak of Russians will then only magnify his power lust over all. But only the false, unloving God, the false Jesus, who forgives everything, that is the lie from hell. Uh, he's not, there is no nothing that can save that man from eternal death. Uh, and so only by the unloving God uh, of his wrath from Moscow will that man honor. And the false unloving God that his ancestors did not know, he will honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and with desirable things because everything that he's doing is validated by his false God that says, yeah, oh, you're going to be forgiven now. I love you anyways. <laughs> Okay, nice house, nobody home, and no elevator go to the top and no dawn and on the, on the top of the Kremlin now. And just a short time before his embraced suicide of armament, that kingly devil in the flesh will construct for the fortress of the strongholds with a foreign god 
whom he will recognize and he will honor increasingly and he will give the people thereabouts dominion over multitudes and he will even apportion land for some very expensive prices and at that time of the end uh, at the end of all life approaching where there will be no birds no fish no mankind left on planet earth Zephaniah 1 at that time the southern king of Ukraine will clash one last time with him before uh, Armageddon takes uh, but that loveless king of the north will storm over them with many tanks, with missiles, and with hundreds of thousands of troops, and with many ships in the Black Sea. And Vladimir shall come to the southern lands and will overwhelm them as he passes right through them by death's Titus headlock, verse 40. And just before coming to Israel's land of beauty, Many re rebellious nations unto Vladimir will stumble, and most will not escape his hand of death, even though, uh, and even the land of Egypt will not survive. And right before his most bitter, loveless end, that warmonger of warmongers, Vlad the new impaler, the, the monster of uh, monsters, he will brief, briefly rule over Europe's treasures of gold and silver and over all the precious things of Egypt. But the very, but very unexpectedly, verse 44, uh, awful news will terrify him from the east and the north, and he will go forth in great wrath to destroy and exterminate as many as he can. And he will then pitch his palatial tents between the, the Dead Sea uh, which is beckoning and calling him, and the beautiful holy mountain found over the hills uh, of Armageddon. And he will come to his most bloody end there, and no one could possibly ever help that madman. And people, this has to go out to him. Listen, there is only one king of the north that is has invaded a king of the south. It is obviously the king of the north, Vlad, <laughs> because the truth is, it says it's for a latter day prophecy. And that means what it say, and it say what it means. So if you do not share these videos, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs>